What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Byron Vasquez Jr. I'm a Los Angeles based actor and here you will find personal stories of my journey as an actor as well as tips and tricks and other acting related content. In this video, I will be going through my old finances to show you guys how much money I made starring in my first TV commercial. Without further ado, let's roll the camera and action! <music> Before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button because I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and remember, once we hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be re-releasing my first short film that I wrote, produced, and starred in called And Let God Do The Rest. Also, don't forget to sign up to Redbox with my affiliate link in the description box below for your free DVD or streaming movie rental. With all that stuff out of the way, let's get into it. In 2018, I booked my first Union TV commercial. Because of the content of this video I'm not going to be giving out the name of the commercial but if you know what it is then go ahead and put a little winky face down in the comments section below. When you film a SAG national commercial you get a base pay rate. On the day of the shoot I actually worked two contracts. The commercial which paid me I think it was a base pay of $1,500 and a model contract which paid me around $500. The model contract was actually used for photo stills that they would take and use for print or for whatever else they would need. So for the day, I got a total of $2,000 for 12 hours worth of work. That totals to $167 per hour. Oh, yeah. That's it, you guys. Now you know how much money I made for the commercial. Thank you very much for tuning in. Not so fast. There's more. The commercial aired in Canada, in USA, and in Mexico from 2018 to 2020. Because this was a union contract, there was no buyout. That meant that I got to collect residuals. What are residuals? Residuals are compensation paid to the actor each time a commercial airs. That means that every time the commercial aired, I was paid a sum of money. And because I was under contract with the company, I was not allowed to work as an actor promoting anything similar to their product. So because of that contractual hold, they had to pay me. So every six weeks, I was paid a holding fee regardless of whether my commercial aired or not, just so they could have the option to air my commercial or extend my contract, which they did because my contract only was supposed to be for a year and they ended up running the commercial for a couple of years. After I filmed my commercial, I was very curious as to how much I was going to make because everyone told me, you can make good money in commercials. But what did that mean? I looked online. I tried researching, but I couldn't find any worthwhile answers. You know, the way that residuals are calculated is very complicated, so the more that I researched, the more confused I became. So the purpose of this video is not to brag, but to give you guys, my fellow actors out there, an idea as to how much money you can make when you book your first SAG national commercial! Remember, SAG rates and contracts are negotiated every couple of years, so it's more than likely that actors now are going to be making more money than when I booked the commercial back in 2018. So I went through my old financial records and I wanted to calculate how much money I made from residuals. I got paid for three taxable years, 2018 through 2019, 2019 through 2020, and 2020 through 2021. But I believe I got one check in 2021. It was my last check. <laughs> also, this isn't 100% exact. It's been a couple years since I earned this money. I think I lost some pay stubs and also my agency. They sometimes send me a check without the full pay stub, so it made it hard to track of how much money I actually made. But nonetheless, this is a close approximation as to how much I made because I do have a substantial amount of pay stubs and I did calculate this as specifically as possible for you guys. Uh, also remember, this is after taxes but before my agents cut remember talent agents are entitled to 10 percent of an actor's pre-tax earnings so let's get to the numbers so from march 2018 through december 2018 i got a total of 28 paychecks the smallest being fifty dollars and thirty cents and the largest being ten thousand dollars so for that year i made a total of $37,419. From January 2019 to December 2019, I got roughly 25 paychecks, the smallest being $75.45 and the largest being $3,906. For that year, I made a total of $22,696.09. Now, from January 2020 through January 2021, remember I had one check in 2021, I got a total of nine checks. 
the smallest being $461.12 and the largest being $1,298.41. So for that year, I made a total of $7,808.92. So for a grand total of... $67,905.20. Have the money, y'all. <laughs> They're poor people around. Now, I actually think it was a little bit more than that, but I did lose some pay subs, so I didn't get an exact amount, but I think I made around $70,000 for one day of 12 hours worth of work. That is $5,833 per hour. So there you go, folks. That's how much money I made doing my first SAG national TV commercial. I actually think I could have lived off of that for about a couple of years, probably. Wait, there's more. I actually found a way to make my commercial pay me money for the rest of my life. But you're going to have to tune in next week to see my next video to let you know how I did that. So that's it for this video. Remember, every Tuesdays I have movie reviews and every Sundays I post vlogs about my journey as an actor. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more of my personal stories as an actor, as well as tips and tricks and other acting-related content. But for now, that's a wrap.